Now, there was a, an exchange of heavy firing between militants and security forces in Ahmadnagar, a locality of Sora. This is on the outskirts of Srinagar, and it took place, place uh, late last night. Four policemen were injured in that firing. The militants trapped in a house lobbed a grenade at a police party. Security forces had cordoned off the area soon after, and search operations are now going on uh, in the outskirts of Srinagar after that firing. Uh, there, was, there has been no incident of firing since the morning. Two policemen were injured in that shootout. Well, Nazir uh, joins us for more uh, on this. Uh, Nazir, so where are these uh, terrorists now? Well, uh, this operation has failed. Operation has failed and militants have, militant have managed to escape. Uh, let me reiterate, this operation has failed and militants have mili managed to escape. One militant was trapped last night inside a house near Anchar Lake, but he has given a slip. He has managed to escape in the initial shootout and militant, uh, you know, grenade, when he lobbed a grenade, four policemen were injured, but then taking advantage of the darkness and police's, uh, what police sources tell us that they have exercised restraint because they don't want any collateral damage. During the night, militant has managed to escape after uh, uh, injuring at least four policemen when he lobbed a grenade on police party. So this police operation, security force operation has failed, uh, which was launched to uh, track down a lashkar e taiba top commander in the outskirts of Srinagar city. And uh, he was, uh, you know, hiding in a house. He was holed up, the house was encircled, but militants lo militant lobbed a grenade in which four policemen were injured. Police also opened fire on that house, but militant managed to escape. He jumped off from the window, and sources tell us he took the advantage of the darkness and uh, uh, escaped through this uh, Anchar Lake. So this operation, which was launched to track down this Lashkar militant, that Lashkar commander has failed, and militant has managed to you know, escape. A setback for the police who have you know, actually got a information it was a pinpoint you know information about the presence of militant in, inside a house they reached near the house they encircled the house and uh, opened fire on militant but militant uh, lobbed a grenade and injured four policemen and then managed to escape all right and nazir is there any connection really uh, between the trouble that we're seeing at the line of control and 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 this incident here uh, on the outskirts of srinagar uh, no, there is no, uh, you know, link. Uh, this uh, is purely a militants who are already here, who are operating in Kashmir, who have been here for a long time. They have infiltrated one year or two years, three years before, and they are operating. So police has been always, this operation was initiated by the police and security force here after they received the information about militant presence. But the line of control, that is an altogether different issue when a largely heavily armed group of militants, and now the army says they are backed by the special forces and the BAT teams, border action teams of Pakistani army. They uh, infiltrated, whether this is an incursion or infiltration, but for last more than 10 days, army is engaged in a major, major gun battle in a place called Shalbot Jamgund, which is in Karen sector of Kupara district. And so far, there is no clarity how many militants have been killed, even as army has claimed that they have killed 12 militants. But even after 10 days, not a single body has been recovered by the arm, army, nor any arms and ammunition. Some say that the bodies may have been taken back by the militants, taken uh, by the militants, but this is not possible. Simply because if a militant is killed, that means he is within, well within the firing range of Indian army. And if a body is lying well within the firing range of Indian army, how can somebody come and reach there and take away the body? So that is a big question, how army is going to you know, deal with that operation. Army is now saying they are in the final stage of this operation. But here, in the Srinagar, outskirts of Srinagar at Ahmednagar, the operation that was launched by Jammu and Kashmir police and the security forces last night has failed. Militant has managed to escape. Police and security force launched search operation in the adjoining areas, but right. it has not yielded any result. Militant has managed to escape. Police say they exercise restraint because it is a congested area, it is a congested neighborhood, and they do, didn't want to take any collect, uh, you know, collateral damage or more casualty to, to, to their own you know, uh, men.